Okay, B blog, first of July. I guess happy Fourth of July coming up on Tuesday. Everyone's doing this as a four-day weekend. A couple of updates. Number one, we're running low on stock of the Drake toys. Just to let you know, I'm down to the last box. I don't know if I'll order more, but if I do, I may have to see if I can get a better manufacturer involved. I may be ordering other products down the line as soon as I can find more space or the cost to pay for storage is beneficial. Otherwise, I'm going to be playing a little bit of shuffleboarding around. i got a friend of mine in Riverside that's handling some of my overstocks right now. I might drop off more stuff to him to hold. But that's where the time and cost comes in. So, but between the two... So, not too many updates. I'm actually in a different office, a, a, a sort of deployable office, since I have ten, ten computer knowledge as long as I need an internet connection and get my tunnel up. I got a bridge on the floor that I can use to set up computers and stuff. So, there might be some change in topologies and things like that next couple of days, but only because of the fact that I think I might be able to work out some stuff. Uh, things are not in a rush, that's good, but. The faster I get stuff out of me, the faster I can have billable time and close the ticket is better for me because I don't like to make anything in their career anymore. Might be time to switch careers, but I don't know. The radio guys here, if I j jump into their career, um, they make a career out of everything. I don't. So what I do is I just fix it, put the best gear in there, and then make it disappear. And stuff breaks all the time, so the best you can do is pre uh, expect the worst, prepare for the best. But if you have too much stuff on you, then you'll just be shuffleboarding stuff around. So I rotate stock and inventory. And it, having stuff does help, but it's best to have a spare on things that you know that might break, rather than to have a lot of spare parts to fix just about anything, because the time is more valuable sometimes to just switch it out. Um talk to any professional company that's grown in the last 10 years, that's exactly the point. As we move into an era of AI, I may have AI design some future toys, I don't know. I'm not getting much pushback from artists. I've got a few maker, one of them that I'm still debating, I'm going to just put it out there on a message. Do I lose $100 and just call it a day, or does do I lose a potential $300 because the maker said that any between zero and 70 percent you're still going to lose their 300 dollars i have no references i'm 100 percent uh, they want it sent friends and families which is really a flag because you can't get any money back it's almost good as cash best i can do is send it friends and family but pull from my credit card account then it's insured through that transaction but if it push comes to shove and it becomes a problem I'm still out, and the an investigation can take six months to a year. So the last person I did that to refund it immediately, realizing it was a credit card transaction. So with that perspective, I may just simply send, this is my final offer. If you can't take it as an insured transaction, then I am not going to go into it because I'm getting tired of people a-walling on me. Yes, I know everyone needs to get paid. Yes, I know living expenses gone up, but you voted this damn bastard as president, so you deal with the uh, fruits of your uh, benefits. I'm not. I'm actually going in a different direction. I've got friends that are going too far in a different direction and may have to uh, unsink their sinking ship. And I've done pretty well good. This little upload is going to test the connection of an AT&T connection with a 1% packet loss. Um, I strengthen and reinforce their network, so their network is now better. It's not fully redundant, but I can make a schedule to them on how to make it redundant. But I'm not going to go that far just yet because some skills are left for the paid market. Uh, work is paying decently, but having me do other types of labor type job where I'm looking for outside developers of Python... I can do it, but do I want to sit there and learn another four hours of another coding language? I don't use that much. So it's not, I, it's like I said, it's not really worth my time, but if it bumps two weeks, I'm actually running late on that project. So I hate to bump it another week, but I'm hoping to finish it by 4th of July so I can bump out of there and I'm sure there's going to be something else for me to work on. 
for a skill that I have no use for anywhere else other than for this one script. Now, that put that aside, learning something new is always a great thing, uh, more time for you, but a wealth of knowledge will never make you wealthy, it's how you play the game. And now I know how to play the game, so I'm having a little fun both ways, finding new stuff, but if it was professional, I have to get professional gear and I have to make sure that the stuff I'm relying on does exactly what I said. Now, that's also a skill set. So just like programming, if you get really good at a language, someone can give you a problem, you can visualize how to solve it, and then you can be done in about one hour. The question is, do you charge one hour the minimum age or do you charge one hour as a specialist? See, And that's where your time is valuable. So if you learn to do this game right, you can decently make good money I didn't we were taught that from school we we're taught that you can only way to make money is to have a career but a career doing one thing over and over that's the definition of slave labor <laughs> you throw it around and make it fun from time to time or you get to be a little creative and show a little professionalism aside then that's not because that's actually free will but it's the other way around so sometimes I got to get to-do lists and sometimes I get stuff done, but that's just the way it is. And then in between, I try to stuff more knowledgeable things. But the common problem I'm running into is pretty much this guy's got a collection of cool stuff, but I, it's just distractions to me. And this table keeps on having more random stuff show up. So I dropped a few random stuff off here till I finish up a few more projects. I'm going to go and drop some... Uh, shelves off tonight and potential locations to install this shelf. I just don't know where and when. I think I'm going to go and pop it in tonight because it'll only take me 10 minutes to put the shelf in. Uh, plus, I need to pull out the UPS battery and see what the hell is going on with it because the thing lost power, so which indicates to me the battery might be shorted. Um, I don't want to think too much because if you're dealing with 10 year old hardware, Sure, you can fix it, but what's the next thing to break? The plastic on it's already disintegrating. When I pop the cover off to look at the battery, it's already, the cover literally stays off now. So I'll probably pop the metal screw out, slide the battery out, and just do a voltage check on the battery. And I wouldn't be surprised if I find one battery that just decided a cell collapsed or whatever. And I'll just probably put it, bring it down here and label it, please test, bad battery or something along that line that someone will figure it out. Um, for the UPS upstairs until we get a new battery in from a supplier or whatnot. But that's the update for things that break and I understand because I'm noticing quality of aftermarket battery is after is a lot shorter lived. I don't know what it is, but the cost of lead acid has gone way up anyway, so anyhow, there goes for my July update. Hopefully there'll be more toys on the way.